สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by PBCPhuket.com. Less than two weeks ago, the Phuket News published online an open letter to the Thai authorities by a German national in Phuket right now, who's appealing to stay in Thailand instead of being forced to go back to Germany, where more COVID-19 infections have been confirmed. And that letter has reached the Prime Minister, who has ordered his assistants to investigate the circumstances and also get feedback from other people who are in a similar position, who can send their emails to the email below. In his open letter, published online by the Puka News on August 22nd, Bernard Stover urged the Thai government to consider the circumstances he and many other long-stay tourists already staying in Thailand were facing. He's 68 years old. Lives in Germany, but is currently in Phuket, and he comes here every year. And he's worried about the autumn and winter back in Europe, the flu season, which, coupled with a potential COVID-19 second wave, would prove dangerous for the elderly. A link to the full letter is in the description. In it, he also asked Thai authorities if it was possible to issue a provisional res residence permit so that people can determine the return flight for themselves. The prime minister's office has reached out to him and heard his plea, with an investigation taking place right now to find how many other long-stay foreign tourists are already in, Th in Thailand facing a similar predicament. To gain clear feedback directly from other long-stay tourists wanting to stay in Thailand, the officer at the PDMU invited such tourists to email a clear description of their situation. By arrangement, such tourists can send their emails to stay in Thai at classacmedia.co.th. Puka News will forward all relevant emails directly to the PDMU. Emails must include contact details, and the subject line must say "Please let me stay." People are urged to send their emails as soon as possible. For more, visit the PuketNews.com. Nine people are lucky to be alive after surviving a crash in which their truck overturned and rolled down a steep slope while they were riding in the back of the truck. Yesterday's crash took place on the coastal part of Ao Yang Kau Kat Road in Panwa. At about 5:40 p.m., when the driver was taking a group of Myanmar nationals from the construction site back to their workers' camp, he told police that the front left wheel had left the road, causing him to swerve and sent the truck rolling downhill about 15 meters below. Among those riding in the truck was a young boy, one of the workers' sons, and nine were taken to hospitals around Phuket. One was deemed to have suffered serious injuries, as many of the workers were flung from the truck and had minor injuries. Police are still investigating. The upcoming long weekend will be four days long, with Friday and Monday considered public holidays in Thailand. Both of them being the substitute Songkran holidays that were postponed from mid-April. As such, all government offices will be closed from Monday to from Friday to Monday, and will reopen on Tuesday, including the immigration office, land transport office, and the post offices. And while main bank branches are closed, bank branches in shopping malls. Are still open. Alcohol sales will also be allowed. Police stations across the island will remain open, and some consulates will also be open to serve their respective citizens. Nine new COVID-19 infections announced in Thailand today. Once again, it's people who've recently landed from abroad, including five Thai nationals and an American family of four, raising the total for the country to 3,425, with 96% recovered and the death toll unchanged to 58. It's been 100 days in a row since Thailand has had a confirmed local COVID-19 infection. Although Thai officials remain wary of a possible resurgence of infections, like in New Zealand and Vietnam, two other countries which had appeared to eliminate local transmission, only to see unexplained flare-ups later on. An online video that drew a barrage of criticism online prompted officials in Koh Phangan. To arrest the two foreigners who were seen toying with marine animals while diving in a protected area off the coast of Koh Phangan, the clip, which was posted just a few days ago, it shows two foreigners, Francesco Simonetti, a local chef on Koh Phangan, and Attila Ott, a diving instructor and local business owner there. He's, they're both grabbing marine life from the seafloor, playing with them and poking them with their selfie stick, and taking selfies in an area off Salat Beach with them. The video went viral amongst Thais and even reached the head of the Natural Resources and Environment Ministry, who ordered officials to find those two men and whether they had diving permits and licenses required. They were detained by Koh Phangan police, charged with intruding on areas designated for environment protection, which carries a maximum fine of up to 100,000 baht, and/or 
a year in prison, in addition to other fines that were levied against them. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. An unexpected ruckus at a beauty pageant in Songkla province where one contestant, after she was eliminated, accused judges of rigging the entire thing and forced them to divvy up the entire prize money pool among the top 10 contestants. The Miss Samila 2020 pageant was in its final round when contestant Ornapon Na Chiang Mai was eliminated. She went straight to the judges' table to speak with them, accusing them of rigging the entire thing. Then she later strode up like Kanye West onto the stage, took the microphone and made a quick speech to the audience saying that quote, we know when we lose and when we win. We know when we answer well and when we don't. We know when we don't deserve to go through to the next round before her mic cut off the cheers. Snapshots of the judges scorecard shows that contestants with no points were allowed to go through while others were taken out. Organizers later agreed to split up the 200,000 bot 10 ways among the top 10 finalists, with no crowning of a winner. And that's it for Phuket Extra today, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket.